Hey guys, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at a new Teller Knight monster in a Crossover Souls, or Cross Souls. I do not know why they keep on changing the name of the packs, packs between those two GNTs, G but whatever. Anyway, today we are looking at Planet Teller Knight, no, no, the P is silent, so it's Ptolemyos. I don't know, but I always want to say Ptolemyos, you know, the, the P is silent, it's just like Pterodactyl, you don't say Pterodactyl. Well, I say Pterodactyl, but no, the P is silent, so it's Ptolemyos. It is a, a light warrior XC rank 4 effect monster with pitiful attack, 550. That's it. That's all the attack he gets, but he got, he's got some booty. He's got some booty. He's like a weird centaur creature, so he's got he's got that horse butt of uh, 2600, so pretty nice booty. He's made with two or more level 4 monsters. Are you kidding me? Level 2? Look, two, two, two? You mean it's not three? It's two? Oh my god, two. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and look at this card and figure out whether you should run this guy or not. And how good is he in comparison to, you know, Deltros and Trevor and Diamond. So the effect, it reads, during either player's turn. All right. You're going to attach up to three XP materials on this card. Special summon from your extra deck one monster that is one rank higher than this card, except a number monster by using this card as the XC material. The special summon is treated as an XC summon. XC materials attached to this card also become an XC materials on the summon monster, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, to even get this effect, you still need three XC materials. So, sure, it does say, you know, you know two or two or more, but to really get, you know, bang out of your buck out of this effect, you're gonna have to have three. So it's kinda different than the other Teller Knights, but it's not. Cause to get your effect, you need to attach extreme materials. So, you know, you think that you could just go, you know, summon Altair, Altair, summon Deneb, X into this, but it doesn't have its first effect because it doesn't have three extreme materials, it only has two. So of course, to go ahead and get your effect, you gotta do some kind of combination of them all. So like maybe Vega, Altair, Altair, Deneb, XC into this. Then you have three XC materials. Then you can go ahead and attach three XC materials to sort of pseudo rank up to a monster that's one rank higher. Doesn't matter, you know, what attribute, doesn't matter what type, doesn't matter as long as you're one rank higher, except you cannot be a number monster. Okay. So now uh, let's go ahead and discuss some things that you can go into. So of course you cannot go into Volcasaurus. That might be one of your first choices because both Volcasaurus is pretty cool, but he's a number, so no Volcasaurus. You can go into Pleiades. So there you go. You can go into Pleiades. You can, you know, use three monsters, and instead of Xing and Triver and bouncing everything back, you can go into this and then detach the XC material to put Pleiades on top. Which means that Pleiades would only have one XC material. So instead of bouncing everything back and still having all your XC material, you can get one bounce. One bounce. So, yeah, then, I mean, there's Pleiades. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. All right, so you know Diamond. You know Diamond. You can, in your main phase too, you can go ahead and slap this on top of a Telenite XC monster. This included. But, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can detach three XC materials to put on top of, uh, you can put Diamond. Diamond on, on top. Oh, genius. No. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. I'm getting a ton of comments about Chocala mode and about how it's not poop. When it is poop, it's it's poopy a la mode, alright? Booty a la mode. It, it's crap. It's crap and I don't even know why anybody will even remotely try to defend it, because that's not what my dojo needs, but hey, just tell it to your opinion. You can and, and, and this is for all your Chocala la mode fans out there. You can detach three extreme materials to put Chocala la mode on this card. Oh my god! <gasps> no. I'm sorry, that, 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 this effect is not that good in my opinion, you know. It's just not really worth detaching three XC materials just to rank up. You know, especially not including none of the norm, the number monsters. I mean, the best one I could think of is Pleiades, but he would only have one XC material. So, you know, while, you know, those three monsters that you used to exceed to this, you could have just went into Triver, and Triver could have just bounced everything, you know. So, I just don't really see that effect being that useful. So, you know, let's try to read it second effect. All right. You can detach seven XC materials from this card. All right, hold on, hold on. There's got to be more to this because there's no way in fuck you're going to be able to XC into this card. Because I know it says two or more level four monsters, but there's no way in fuck you're going to be able to XC using seven XC materials because you only have five slots. So there's got to be more to this. <sighs> Skip your opponent's next turn. 
Ooh, skip your opponent's next turn. Ow. All right, last effect, last effect. During each end phase, you can attach one teller, teller, not su, no, it's teller, not su teller card from your extra so the XC monsters, or the pendulum monsters if you're playing those. From your extra deck, so it's gotta be an extra deck, so, you know, uh, to this card and the XC material. So that's how you get up to seven. Okay. Well, uh, you know, you usually go with three, so start off with three, so each of your, during each end phase, so that includes your opponent, so during each end phase, you can go ahead and grab a Teller Knight C monster and equip um, from the extra deck and then psh, as an XC material. When they get deta detached, they will not get their effects because they either have to be sent in the field to the graveyard or they have to be sent to the graveyard with XC materials, which of course they will be sent to the graveyard with XC materials because they are in XC materials themselves when they're detached, so no. So, I won't be getting anything off of that. So, like I said, let's assume that you use three Teller Knight monsters XC into this. Then all you have to do is just to survive four end phase. So one, so your end phase, there's four. Their end phase, there's five. Your end phase, that's six. Their end phase, that's seven. And then you can go ahead and detach all seven XC materials to skip your opponent's next turn. Turn, that, 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 that's everything. That's their draw phase, their normal summon, their everything, their battle phase, everything skipped. It's literally as if you get two draw phases, you get two battle phases, you get two normal summons, you get all the special summons in the world. Your opponent just, just turns straight up skipped. You don't have to, they don't get to send any background, they don't get to play any monsters, their turn is skipped. So what do I think about that effect? If your opponent lets you get off that effect, they're stupid. <laughs> Straight up, straight up, they are whoo, cause that that that's four turns, four turns. You, they can they can see this card coming from a mile a fucking way. You know, it's not like this card is gonna jump out the bushes and and skip your next turn and stab you in the butt. No, no, they can see this card coming from a mile away. So you you can clearly see that if your opponent's trying to do some shenanigans with this, handle it right now. And of course, the problem with attaching those you know tell you know those telling sea monsters. Is, you know, when you kill this guy, they just go to the graveyard, you know, that's less telling only monsters they have in their extra deck, so, you know, that's a big problem, too. Overall, I just don't see this effect really getting off unless your opponent's just absolutely dumb, and, or you just protected this card out the ass, because I just don't see this card really doing that. So, overall, this card is not that good, but it has a different use, which I think may be what allows this card to be played. Alright, hear me out, hear me out. This card is made with two level, two or more level four monsters, right? So that means in Teller Knights, you can go into Diamond without having to go into Deltros or Triver. So instead of having to go, alright, well, I really want to go into Diamond right now, but I don't got the Vega to summon Altair to summon the Neb to go into, like, the Triver or the Deltros to then put the Diamond, I, I don't got that right now. Like, I, I you know? Or that other Teller Knight monster that increases your, you know, your rank club, you don't have to put on him. No, you can just lay it on top of this guy. And this guy only says two or more. So that means that you can simply just go Altair, Deneb, Search, XC and this guy, Main Phase 2, Diamond. You know, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now, of course we know, Diamond is a very powerful card. Diamond just says, fuck you to Shadal. Just straight up fuck you to Shadal. So, tell me, everybody out there, everybody out there who's playing XC deck that's not Teller Knight Monsters, and you're just like, how come Teller Knight Monsters go ahead and get the have Diamond to go ahead and fuck them up? Every time I XC, I get fucking Shadal fused and I get fucked up. Man, I fucking hate Shadal. Man, Shadal fucking suck. If only I could just fuck them up because when they fuck me up. Introducing this card right here. It says, Two or more Teller Knight? No, no, no. Level four monsters. It's pretty much generic. It's generic. So, let's say, for example, you're using a particular XC deck. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Gadgets. All right. Let's go with gadgets. You know, you're using gadgets. Your opponent's using Shadals. You know, you want to go into your gear guy next. You want to do all your things, but you know that they're going to fucking Shadal fusion you and fuck your ass up. And you just wish that you could just get your revenge on Shadals. Grr, grr. All right. Just go Goldfish, Gadget, XC into this, 
Oh, wait, what, why do you have this card in your extra deck? Don't fucking worry about it, Shadow Player, because I'm about to fuck you up. Main phase two, stop that diamond. Fuck you. I can play diamond two. Any deck that can go into some rank fours, bam. This card, diamond, two cards, slapping your extra deck, bam. You got something to fight Shadow. So now, not only do Teller Knights be, be able to fight against Shadows with diamond, every Xeed deck that can go into rank fours can. There you go. Everybody, grab your diamonds, fuck up Shadow. So, I mean, so, as simple as that. That's, that, this is probably this card's best freaking thing, is that pretty much any deck that can go into rank fours can fuck them up. You can go, all right, normal summon my elemental hero, special summon that bubbly man XC into this main phase two, slap the diamond on it, fuck you. Fuck you should alls. Oh, fuck you should alls. You know? Like, oh, yeah, you know? Fuck you, fuck you burning your base too. You know, it, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fuck yous going on right now, but I definitely say that you know, Telenite monster, Telenites, throw one of these in extra deck because, you know, a two card diamond is much easier to go into than a three card diamond if you don't have the right, correct setup, you know, it's much easier to go summon, you know, you go and get your dolls, it's much easier to go summon a uh, Deneb, search for Altair, you know, they kill you, but, you know, you don't have anything fresh on the extra deck, right? So they're worrying about that diamond, but then they're, they're like, oh, well, what if they don't have a Vega in hand, you know, I might be lucky, you know, be like, no, motherfucker, you're not lucky, because I'm gonna go Altair, Oh, so I was gonna send me that. Deneb. I'm search. You're gonna be like, oh well, at least I don't have to worry about diamond this turn because they can't even go into trade with Delta. I was be like, um, XC into this guy, and they'll be like, oh fuck. Main phase two, swoosh, bam. There's the diamond. Fuck you. You know, it's, it, it, it's as simple as that. You know, so uh, definitely, definitely, this card uh, has some freaking uses because it's like almost as if anybody can go into diamond and. I definitely think that this card will should be played, you know. And like I said, if you're fucking hating, if you're fucking hating your hatred of Shadals when you're using your various succeed decks is so high that you just want to fuck them up, go ahead, tech this one one of this, one diamond, bam, there you go, fuck up Shadals, you know. Fuck up Burning Abyss a little bit too. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So this upcoming Tuesday, I know, I know, there's just there's a new shit off feature, and I will talk about him, I will just talk about him, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, talk about this one, this one was uh, already planned, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys Tuesday talking about the new Shadal Water Fusion, alright guys, thanks for watching.